A plant has many different parts that perform various functions. The two main parts of the plant are the root and shoot. Root usually grows under the ground while shoot usually grows above the ground. The shoot has different parts called the stem, leaves, flowers and fruits. The stem is the stalk of the plant. It helps the plant to stand upright. It carries water and minerals from the roots to the leaves and carries food prepared by the leaves to the different parts of the plant. Roots help to anchor the plant to the ground. They absorb the water and minerals required for the growth of the plant. Hello students, today we are going to learn about the different types of roots that are found in plants. Students, roots are the underground part of the plants. The root access the plant with the soil and it absorbs water and mineral from the soil. There are major two types of roots we can found in plants. One is tap root and other is fibrous root. Tap root. Tap root is single long root of the plant. Small roots arise from it. Example, we can see tap root in different types of trees, beans, roses, lady fingers, etc. Fibrous root. Many roots arise from the base of the stem are called fibrous roots. Fibrous roots we can see in cereals, grasses, rice, wheat, banana, etc. Beside the tap root and fibrous root, there are some roots which are very special. One is edible root, radish, carrot, wheat root, have thick and swollen roots to store food for the plant and these roots are eaten by us also. Second special root that provide extra support to the plant. The branches of a banyan tree get extra support with the special roots that grows downward from the branches. This is a maize plant. Maize plant have thin and long stem which need extra support to keep them upright. So roots arise from the base of the stem to help to support the plant. Third special roots are the aerial roots. Mangrove plants grow in marshy area or mud area. So their roots do not get sufficient oxygen to breathe. Some breathing roots come out of the soil to get fresh air. Such roots are called aerial roots. A closer look at a plant shows that it is firmly held in the soil by the help of roots. These roots absorb water from the soil and through the tiny tubes transport it to the stem and then to the leaves. The stem holds the leaves in such a way that they absorb maximum energy from sunlight. 